Welcome back to my ongoing series about retroactive jealousy and cognitive distortions. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I'm sure a lot of retroactive jealousy sufferers can relate to, and that is what is called discounting the positive. My name is Zachary Stockhill from RetroactiveJealousy.com, and since 2013, I've been working one-on-one -on -one with men and women from all over the world, every single corner of the planet, helping them overcome jealousy and possessiveness in their relationships, helping them overcome retroactive jealousy. If you'd like more information about my work, or maybe you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, please visit my website at RetroactiveJealousy.com. And my very, very quick refresher for the people who are new here. The term retroactive jealousy refers to unwanted intrusive thoughts, often obsessive curiosity, and what I call mental movies about your partner's past relationships and or sexual history. And the term cognitive distortions refers to unhelpful, counterproductive mental patterns, thought patterns we fall victim to that can really hold us back from being happy and that can contribute to things like retroactive jealousy, various anxiety disorders, and even depression. So needless to say, the whole point of this ongoing series on cognitive distortions is to encourage you to start thinking a little more carefully about where you are falling victim to cognitive distortions in your own life. And in particular, if you're a retroactive jealousy sufferer, my hope is that this free series will help you start thinking about where you're falling victim to cognitive distortions as it relates to your experience of retroactive jealousy, as it relates to your feelings about your partner's past. So what is discounting the positive? Discounting the positive basically refers to ignoring or even invalidating good things that are happening to you in favor of only focusing on the bad. It's very similar to what we covered in the last video, which involved what's called the mental filter. Discounting the positive is kind of trying to deflect or disavow or explain away good things in your life, good things in your relationship, good things in your career or anything else. So what are some examples of discounting the positive as it applies to retroactive jealousy and or relationships? Some people will look at their partner and their partner will provide endless reassurance to them, for example, when they question them about their past. You know, a guy will go to his girlfriend and ask 18 million questions about, you know, why did you date this guy and what is his, you know, penis size and like how many people have you been with and why are you with me and if you want that, go find that and yada, yada, yada. 18 million questions about his girlfriend's past. And often his girlfriend will provide endless reassurance and endless love and endless praise and try to prop up the guy's ego as much as possible. But in these situations, you know, her boyfriend won't entirely accept this validation. Or he might accept it in the moment, but then, you know, half an hour or maybe a day later, he's back to focusing and ruminating on her past, discounting all of the positive that his girlfriend just offered him. He might start thinking things like, oh, she's only with me because she has no other options, or I'm her last choice to, to find a husband, something like that. He's completely ignoring all the beauty and positivity in his life and in his relationship in favor of only focusing on the negative. Another example of discounting the positive if you're working to overcome retroactive jealousy. So as I say endlessly on this channel, if you're working to overcome retroactive jealousy, and in particular, if you have a really severe case of retroactive jealousy, if you're racked by intrusive thoughts, obsessive curiosity, and mental movies about your partner's past, and you're kind of on the extreme end of the spectrum, if that describes you, you will encounter what I call bumps in the road. Times when things are going along great, you're feeling good, you're making progress, you're feeling happier than you felt maybe in a long time, and you will have an occasional bad hour or a bad day or whatever. By the way, the good news here is that they happen to the best of us. They happen to all of us. It's not a big deal. And there are time-tested strategies, perspectives, practices that you can engage in that will reduce kind of the severity of these bumps in the road. But anyway, to go back to my point, you're going along great. You're making progress toward overcoming retroactive jealousy and you have a bad day. So you start telling yourself things like, oh, I'll never be free of this problem. And you know, it's everything's hopeless. And that Zach guy on YouTube is full of crap. And <laughs> you'll start discounting the positive. You'll start not realizing that maybe you've had a bunch of really good weeks. You'll start discounting the positive and not really focusing on the fact that maybe you've had, you know, three really good weeks. Now you're kind of struggling a little bit, or maybe you've had three good days, but now you're just kind of having, you know, kind of a slightly off day. You're not looking in the rear view mirror at all the wonderful progress you've made, and you're not looking ahead to the progress that you're going to make if you keep doing what we know works. Instead, you're discounting the positive. You're only focusing on the negative without considering the whole picture. So as with all these videos, my kind of homework assignment for you is to encourage you to think about where you are discounting the positive in your own life. If you're a retroactive jealousy sufferer, maybe you're discounting some of the positive elements of your partner's past. Maybe you're discounting some of the positive aspects of your present with your partner. Maybe you're discounting the positive in all kinds of aspects of your life. The point is think hard about where you are discounting the positive in your life 
and then start thinking about new thoughts, new perspectives that you can take on that are just a better story to tell yourself about these events, about yourself, about your partner's past, about your relationship. As I say all the time, so much of our happiness in life comes down to simply choosing to tell ourselves better stories. Because we're telling ourselves certain stories about the past all the time anyway, why not choose a better one? Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and if you would like to get access to the rest of this series on retroactive jealousy and cognitive distortions, please be sure you hit the subscribe button beneath this video. That will make sure you're notified of new videos moving forward. And while you're at it, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment as well to make sure that I know you appreciate this content and you want more of it. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.